In the opening months of 1941, Germany's newest battleship Tirpitz was steadily nearing completion. This meant it was the prime time for tours and inspections of the ship, and this included Japan. The then acting naval attache, Admiral Nomura, was interested in collecting information on the Tirpitz to send back to Japan so that possible tweaks or advancements in current designs could be made, but he was particularly interested in submarine and aircraft development rather than battleship development. Now as far as I'm aware, nothing was collected that was very useful from the Tirpitz. This meant that the Yamato's design was largely unchanged, possibly not changed at all. But this is not the impact that the inspection would have on the Yamato's life. Instead, this would permit a foreigner to step foot on the Yamato itself. In late 1942, Germany had made a very high bar request to Japan. This request was to allow Germany to access the Yamato for a brief period of time in return for allowing Japan to access the Tirpitz. Now Japan has just found itself in a rather awkward position as far as this scenario goes, but they decide to approve the request and a German naval attaché is selected to board the Yamato for a brief period of time. Admiral Paul Vinnaker is the man who is selected to board the Yamato. He is given a quick statistics rundown of what Yamato is, and he is also given a brief rundown of where his tour will take him for the roughly one hour he is permitted. Now the path that has been selected is quite the scheme in many respects. It will primarily take place on the Yamato's tower bridge. This will allow Paul Vinnaker to inspect many technological pieces of Yamato, whilst Japan is also avoiding the risk of losing their secrecy on the battleship since they have directly lied to Paul about specific statistics. For example, Paul was told that the main battery guns were the special type 40 centimeter gun rather than the real 46 centimeter guns that they were. The path selected also prevents Paul Venneker from inspecting lower segments of the ship. He is not allowed below the main deck. The only sections of the interior he is allowed to see is inside the tower bridge. Everything else is to remain a mystery. This is to help hide the displacement of the ships. Based on Japanese records, on the 16th of July 1943, the one-hour tour would take place. Though the path in time selected was quite short, Paul Venneker seemed to be rather impressed with the ship for what he got to see. He got to use the elevator running up the center of the tower bridge, which he had not done before. He'd got to inspect the bridge, the anti-air defense station, and one of the points of particular interest was the primary rangefinder. As the story goes, it would appear that during the inspection of the primary rangefinder, Paul started an extensive conversation as to the best location for reserve main battery fire control stations. Once when the tour had come to a conclusion and Paul Venneker was removed from the battleship, he began to make a rough sketch as to what the battleship looked like, and he also began to write down the statistics and particular points of interest that he had taken whilst he was inspecting the tower bridge. This would be sent back to Germany to possibly advance on their own designs, though, as we are all well aware, Germany would not build another battleship past the Tirpitz. Now, what we do know about the report that was sent back to Germany is that it was filled with the lies the Japanese had given Paul Vinnaker on the battleship statistics, such as its rather low displacement, which would be about 40 to 45,000 tons, and of course, he sent back the special type 40 centimeter guns rather than the 46 centimeter guns. Otherwise, as far as we are aware, nothing else really occurred during the tour. This is all the information that has been left behind from that single day, since it's not really a major point in any battleship's history.